Oh my God. That is so annoying. Anyway, you guys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, this is a quick video. I have an update. So, my experience with Buggy so far has been... interesting to say the least so let's just start with the fact that um the car is a 2022 nissan altima it already has a hundred and twenty five thousand miles on it a hundred and twenty five thousand miles and it's a 2022 that bitch been working <laughs> all right that's not where the problem lies so we're in the middle of june at the time that this um car starts to show its ass right because i literally have people in the back i'm taking them to their destination i'm blowing the air you know what i mean i already keep this car immaculately clean because that's just who i am hello and so this lady and her guy friend they're doing all that lovey-dovey stuff in the back i got the music playing why the air condition starts to blow hot hot air it is a hundred degrees, literally a hundred degrees outside. And the car starts to blow hot air. Not only that, the needle, the the needle where, you know, you got the little wavy thing and the thermometer and the C on that side and H on that side, that shit is going up to H, like close to H. I'm ready to jump out the car at this point. You know what I mean? It's uncomfortably hot. So I open the windows. Of course, I'm like, oh my God, I'm not getting a tip. I give the young lady one of these. And I tell her, ma'am, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, this is not my car. It's a rental. You know, and I start giving a bunch of excuses. But the damage is already done. Right? So they're out of the car. I pull over and I call buggy immediately like immediately because like i'm not gonna put anybody else in this car and what is it gonna blow up on me is it you know what i'm saying so i'm like look i need a new car i need another car this one is overheating they're like oh well, no take it to pet boys are you serious right now pet boys it is a saturday atl is popping like give me another car this is not my car this is a rental anyway they say they don't have any more cars please take it to pet boys long story short i take it to pet boys they do this maintenance thing they say oh the car has no coolant no antifreeze they put the antifreeze in it but the car is still running hot right so i keep insisting please just swap out the car like this is not my car why do you keep like that's not that shouldn't be my responsibility all right um they're like okay well don't take it to pet boys take it to firestone i do that and this is a span of maybe a week because that particular day um you know pet boys did what they did and it was still running hot i took it to firestone and literally i took it there at nine o'clock in the morning i didn't get it back until two and the guy was like well we didn't find anything wrong but i guess he ran it for like the whole time that i was there ran my gas out um and but oddly enough it stopped happening after he did whatever he did like i guess i had to run it and let the coolant or the antifreeze run through the car don't that it's not stopping there people so now now i get a flat tire i don't know it's a flat tire yet i think it's just a slow leak it's two o'clock in the morning picture this you're in the middle of downtown atlanta it's two o'clock in the morning, you know, all the club goers and all that. Well, actually I was in a, um, a, it was just literally the middle of nowhere. And so I stopped at two random gas stations and proceeded to put air in the tire, but the air kept coming out. So I forced the car to a place where it had some people, right? So now picture this, it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm across the street from Escobar on Peter Street. And I'm just to give you an idea of where I'm at. I'm across the street, literally across the street from Escobar, Atlanta on Peter Street. There's a homeless shelter. I didn't know it was a homeless shelter until anyway, right there. Right. So I'm like, dude, 
the car has a flat tire. Can you please send roadside assistance? He's like, why don't you just get out and, and change the tire? Put the, um, put the, um, <laughs> the spare on. Dude, first of all, I'm a woman. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not getting out of this car to change shit. Send roadside assistance. That's what I'm paying for. He hangs up on me. I proceed to go through it with maintenance, the maintenance department, all morning. Oh, we called somebody. They'll be there in a half an hour. Now, this is a Saturday, but he keeps insisting someone's coming in a half an hour. 3 o'clock comes. Nobody's there. 4 o'clock comes. Nobody's there. I keep calling. He's like, look. Oh, da, 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 da. He's like, just leave the car. I can't leave the car, dude. I'm in a no tow. I'm in a no parking zone. I'm in a tow zone. And you are not going to charge me for this car being towed, right? Guys, the roadside assistance guy didn't come until 8.30 that morning. When he pulled out the spare, the spare was bald. He said, make it to Pet Boys immediately. Like, don't stop anywhere. Just go straight. I was so freaking nervous. It was 12 miles, an additional 12 miles to get to Pet Boys. Oh, my God. Do you know, of all of that, I couldn't work because I couldn't put anybody in the car. It was running hot. The The tire um, was um, destroyed. So I had to, all of, I had to eat all of that. And they still expected me to pay the weekly payment. They didn't take anything off the bill. They didn't do any of that. They still expected me to pay. Now, mind you, this is a company where you cannot go out of state. If you go out of the state, they will charge you $100 a day. If you return the car, you don't get your deposit back until 14 days. 14 days after you return the car, they'll give you back your deposit. So, anybody considering utilizing these companies? Hmm. I would say use your own car. I would say use your own car because, like, dude, you have a mother, a sister, you've got to. An auntie, some woman in your home, in your family. Would you tell them to get out of the car? on peter street at two o'clock in the morning and change a flat tire like that was the rudest shit and for you to hang up on me mm. i was so pissed off guys and so i just want to make you guys aware you know i always want to bring you The real tea, when it comes to renting cars for the purpose of utilizing it for ride share. I understand you don't want people, like random people in your car every day, but let me say this, you know, what I did was I got, um, a car wash subscription from a company called Caliber Car Wash. I can wash this car as many times as I want every month. And so what I do is I I wash the car twice a week. Um, like literally. I picked up this lady from the hospital. Oh my god. And the person put the wrong address in, right? So What I thought was going to be a four-mile trip ended up being a 20-mile trip because I picked her up in, what was it, like over by uh, Emory, not Emory Hospital, can't remember the hospital, somewhere in the hoity-toity area, right, and, a pen, and I could just tell where we ended up, you don't belong here, she was going somewhere on the south, um, the Mall of Georgia, this lady, she gets out of the car, and she pees right by the door. I'm like, bitch. 
So I get it. You don't want to put people, you know, for the most part, everybody is sane in their right mind and respectful. But there are those um, occurrences or times when you get the weirdos. Like, um, so I get it. But for the purposes of keeping more of your profit, not having to deal with the, um, just the audacity, like how dare you you know what i mean am i if i'm wrong forgive me but i feel like they are laying all the responsibility on me to take care of this car they don't compensate me for my time because hello to go to pet boys i get up very early it's like seven eight o'clock in the morning and i'm not leaving there until two o'clock now i utilize the time you guys know i'm a realtor so i take my my um my uh laptop and whatever else i'm working on to occupy me through the day but i'm not making money with the car and you know they should compensate me for that i feel well what do you think leave some commotion in the chat and let me know if you have worked with buggy if you've had a similar experience or if you've got a better option for utilizing these vehicles or you know another company that you know about that you can utilize for ride share um i love ride share i love to be able to make money I can tap in when I want. I can clock out when I want. And yeah, we're talking about, you know. Just having that that freedom to schedule your day. Um, make as much or as little. Uh, they give you 12 hours in a day to be on the platform. So... I don't ever work for somebody else, for the exception of real estate and my own, um, for my own entrepreneurial endeavors. I'll never work for another person, ever, ever, ever. So, hmm. I hope this answers you guys' questions. I hope you're you've gotten some insight on buggy, for the most part. Once you pay your bill, they don't bother you. Like, I guess that's everywhere. I am annoyed by the fact that I cannot go out of state. Um, I would love to try Las Vegas. I heard that the Uber drivers in Vegas make boo money. I'm talking about like six grand a week. I don't know how realistic or how true that is, but I want to try it. And it would be nice if I, you know, me and another person could go drive down to Vegas you know just to see what it is um mm. here's a quick snack mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I like nuggets pretty good um yeah so i hope this was able to help somebody got the steering wheel on the thing i hope this was able to help someone um and you have you know all of the information you need to make an informed decision on whether or not renting from buggy is um, something that you want to do. Also, I want to um, answer another gentleman said it would be ideal for him. Be aware that the car, the insurance, all of that, or depending on the car you have, will cost you about $412 a week. Then tack on top of that the cost of gas. To fill up this tank, it's about $45, $50, right? So you want to say, if you drive, I think about it's about 400 miles to a full tank, you drive every day, $50 a day, plus your weekly rental. Let's do the math, 50. Um, 
that's about $400, $350. That's about $350 for gas, right? Let's just say you, you drive for about 400 miles a day, which I probably do. Excuse me. So you'll need $50 per day. So that's $350 plus your car rental. That's another $412. So you're talking about $762. $762 before you break even and now you're bringing profit right so be aware if you not if you're not doing this full time this buggy rental car might not make sense you might you might want to consider using your own vehicle even though you'll have people strangers in the back you'll be keeping more of your profit cuz $700 that's a lot that is a lot on average i make about 14 to $1500 a week I am in this car a lot. I also um, do showings and, you know, I do my real estate stuff. But I, I drive a lot, a lot, a lot. So to the gentleman who said this would might be a good idea for him, think about the numbers, okay? It's about $50 a day or $50 per every 400 miles to fill up the tank. It's going to cost you $412 for the rental cost. Think about how much time you've actually got you know you're working your regular day job you're gonna be tired your family yada 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 now if you don't have a car and you use this car to get you to work and then you want to do you know uber or lyft um part time then it makes sense then it totally makes sense i hope everybody is amazing i want to thank you guys for continuing to watch my content i know i said i would be more consistent and i just like it is what it is you tune in when you get the notification hit that notification bell so when i do post you know about it right all right guys love y'all peace